tonight I am going to start off with a great demo. It's one that I, um, I've started a curriculum for um, kids um, ages two to five, maybe a little bit more uh, in the schools to be creative and not only be creative, but to also be eco-friendly. So tonight I'm gonna to show you a project that I taught to 70, that 70, 70, uh, two to five year olds last week. And it was lots of fun. Um, it was a smashed can project. Now, before I go to my webcam, I wanted to show you how to properly smash a can. There is an art to smashing cans. Now, when you're in the little teaching group, here's the top, you kind of, and this is gonna make a little bit of noise, sorry. I smash it like that first, see? Smash like that first, and then I put it down on the floor and smash it. So when it comes back up, it's gonna be like this. So now I'm gonna let Tiffy, I think Tiff has a, a picture of my black kitty and I will change to my demo cam. Okay, so here's the kitty. And it's done with a smash can. And what I did after I had this part, like this, is I sprayed it black. Now, I sprayed it because I had to do 70 of them. And spraying them is probably not very eco-friendly. So if you want to be eco-friendly, there is a wonderful uh, paint out there that is um, eco-friendly uh, paint. And I would use a um, cosmetic sponge. So basic thing, let's see if we can go a little bit closer here. Let me get my camera a little bit closer. Come on, here we go. Get this one out of the way. Basically, it's just gluing little pieces on. And you know what I did with the kids this week is I did a little bit um, different. Instead of using a white glue, I used um, blue dots. So I'm going to show tonight with some blue dots. So the first glue dot's going to go so easy. This would be a fun project to do with the kids just like this Saturday. Especially, I saw someone that said it was snow. It snowed in like Minnesota. Okay, there's my first glue dot right there. And in that glue dot, I'm going to put two pom poms for the cheeks. You see those? Okay, and then we have somewhere here is a little nose out of felt. So we're just going to put this nose in between. Oh, one thing I didn't get out, let me get some eyes. Wiggly eyes, kids love wiggly eyes, whoops. There's one eye. Put there, and another eye. And also, while I'm kind of working on this, I'm gonna tell you too that because I'm doing this as a curriculum, I actually, on my um, blog, have the teaching lesson of how I taught it. So it's a great um, thing that you can just kind of uh, go to and see how I taught it. It has all kinds of little hints, how to teach kids. And all the little, you know, just like just like using the the, um, the little glue dots instead of the white glue. It's, it's easier for little ones to, um, and I'll give you, as soon as I get off, I'll give you my, um, I'll put my blog in the, in the um, chat room. You know what? I forgot to push my button. Let's see what we have. I think I have a few more minutes. Okay, we have here we go. We have ears that are out of um, foam. Whoops. <laughs> we got two eyeballs, nose, and now we have a little mouth out of felt. And you know, on this project too, I bought everything that had sticky backs. I thought that would be a great thing for the kids to to find the sticky backs, like my felt and my ears. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then the last one that we're going to put on here, let me find what I do with my glue dots here. Here they are. Is I did I just tied a bow out of um, fabric. And oops, get that bow. Come on. Sometimes those glue dots don't want to work. Okay. And 
there we have him. He is all done. Now, I wanted to say before I before I go to the next, um, Cynthia is going to do a, a demo next. But before we go to the next one, I've had so many people that said that they've done this project for for years, that they've made these. Well, I want to tell you. Um, let's go back. I have books from many many years ago that I found in my archives. That um, look at down here. This is ones that I did years ago, probably in the 80s. This one is a book for kids. And it's got smash cans. And somewhere in here, we have more ideas. See all kinds of ideas. Oh, where did that one go? There it is, smash can. So there's a frog, a kitty, a dog, a pig. So I have been doing this for a long time. So that's why I decided to do, for kids, I decided to do um, a great curriculum um, for uh, kids to show them. Since we don't have as much art in the schools, I thought it'd be wonderful to start showing the little kids and get them, show them how to be creative. 